chapter 8 sports culture and recreation 8.1 sports are considered to be a unique platform that transcend linguistic cultural and social barriers paving the way for inclusion and adaptation Universal popularity of sports makes an ideal tool for fostering inclusion and well-being of PWDs. Sports can help reduce the stigma and discrimination associated with disability by transforming community attitudes about the abilities of PWDs. Further, sports can change PWDs in equally profound way by empowering them to realize their full potential. They also teach individuals to communicate effectively and foster cooperation and respect for each other. The power of sports as a transformative tool is of particular importance for women with disabilities who often experience discrimination on the basis of gender and disability. It is estimated that only 7% of women with disabilities are involved in sports globally. Therefore, by improving inclusion of PWDs, sports can help advance the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs. 8.2 India's participation in Paralympics dates back to 1968. India has been continuously participating in Summer Paralympics since 1984. So far, India has bagged 12 medals in Paralympics. In the last Paralympics held in 2021, India won 19 medals including 5 gold. India has been doing exceptionally well in Special Olympics. Similarly, India have been participating in Deaf Olympics since 1971. India has bagged a total of 39 medals in Deaf Olympics, which includes 18 gold, 8 silver and 13 bronze. Eight point three. In blind cricket, also India has been doing exceedingly well, and currently India is the champion of World Blind T20 and One Day International Cricket. Eight point four. Universal brotherhood is inbuilt into our ethos and culture. However, when it comes to inclusion of PWDs, there is a strong need to propagate our ethos for cultural integration. A society is considered to be progressive if it is open to all in respect of all spheres in life. Culture and recreation bolster the image of inclusivity by enabling participation of PWDs. Eight point five. Article thirty of the UNCRPD mandates the state parties to take appropriate measures to ensure that PWDs develop and utilize their creative, artistic, and intellectual potentials are encouraged and promoted to participate in mainstream sports activities at all levels. Have an opportunity to organize, 
develop and participate in disability specific sports activities have access to services from those involved in the organization of recreational tourism leisure and sports activities enjoy access to cultural material in accessible format enjoy access to tv programs movies etc enjoy access to places for cultural performances such as cinema library museum etc eight point six the rpwd act two thousand sixteen mandates the government to take measures to ensure effective participation of pwds in sports activities which inter alia include sports authorities to accord due recognition to rights of pwds to participate in sports restructure course and programs to ensure access inclusion and participation of pwds redesign and support infrastructure facilities promote and organize disability specific sports events eight point seven the act also provides for participation of pwds in cultural and recreational activities which inter alia include facilities support and sponsorships to artists and writers with disabilities establishment of disability history museum making arts accessible promoting recreation centers and other associational activities developing technology to facilitate access and inclusion of pwds in recreational activities including access to tv programs eight point eight for promoting sports the government is committed to providing quality infrastructure in terms of training facilities for sports persons with disabilities In this regard the government is setting up a center for disability sports at Gwalior with a view to provide world class infrastructure for divyang sports persons so that they can compete effectively and win medals for the country 
in various international events like Paralympics and Special Olympics. Eight point nine, keeping in view the mandate of RPWD Act two thousand sixteen and UNCRPD, the policy in these hajjs. Eight point nine, setting up of dedicated disability sports centers, one in each zone, with the state of art facilities for training of PWDs with residential support. Ensuring accessibility of all the mainstream sports facilities under the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and Sports Authority of India. Dedicated time slots to be fixed on each day for training and participation of PWDs. In these facilities, encouraging Paralympic Games at the district, state, and national levels. Acknowledging and rewarding PWD winners in Paralympics, Deaf Olympics, Special Olympics, and national and state level championships. Facilitating PWDs for procurement of sports equipment. Involving PWDs in framing schemes meant for promoting sports participation amongst persons with disabilities. Department of Culture to develop a scheme for promoting fine arts and performing arts amongst PWDs. Acknowledging and propagating the literary work of PWD and propagated at all levels. Upscaling cultural programs like Divya Kala Shakti. It will not only be limited to dance and music, but Fine arts, painting, sculpture, etc., will also be included in future. Cultural program involving persons with disabilities may be held at state district level, which would create positive attitude towards abilities of divyangjan among families and public. Public sector undertaking such as B H E L, N T P C, O N G C, etc., may promote disability inclusive cultural programs. Making cinema halls, theaters, malls, fun parks accessible for PWDs. And also museums and tourist places. Short documentary film, Chule Asman, 
incorporating various government initiatives, ADIP camp, provisions of RPWD Act, impact of various schemes for making PWD self-reliant. Success stories of Divyang entrepreneurs, Paralympians, services available at national institutes, CRCs, etc. may be, may be developed. Efforts may be made to include a tableau of the department showcasing initiative for empowerment of Divyangjan in 26 January parade.